What's going on, people? So, where is it? Right there. I don't know why I had to look for it. It's like, it's super huge. There's the side of the box and whatnot for you, right? Sometimes people like to see that sort of thing. I don't get it, but I do it because I'm a nice guy like that. So this particular pair of shoes has been sitting around for a long while, like several, several months. And I wasn't going to do an actual review of it because I was just gonna use these as something to compare with like these 30s, you know, as far as like a fresh pair comparison wise, how they feel and all that good stuff. But then I noticed that there's some differences between the standard, excuse me, between the standard and this one. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about that, do a whole, well not a whole review still, but just hit the highlights on what exactly Obviously, we're going to be talking about these right here. This is the Asics Kayano 29 in the light show black and new leaf colorway. Yeah, I threw a lot of words out there and not in the right order, but you know, it doesn't matter. Does it? I don't think it does. Either way, so start off like we normally do, right? Which means we're going to start with the bottom. Down there, what you're looking at, right? If you saw the other Kayano video, which may or may not go up before this one, it looks pretty similar, right? And so now if we take the look from the midsole and all that good stuff, nothing too crazy, right? Oh, basically all the Asics t tend to look alike to me. They all look like this, which is fine because it's a decent look. Now, giving you another look at these, right? Some other pictures in here that just kind of make you look at them and think, oh, hmm, mostly just uh, some black and some green, huh? I think I kind of get it. Yeah. There's not a whole lot to it, right? But they do have the light show moniker or whatever, so we'll get into that in just a little bit. But otherwise, there's not a whole lot to take in, so we're not going to stick around on this part too much. And if anything, I think we're just about done here, really. So what I'll get into real quick are just the differences. Again, this right here is going to be the Kayano 29 as well. This is just the light show version. I think this was like amber and sheetrock, something like that. Sheetrock and amber. I was about as close as I could get. Anyways, without being right, that is. Anyway, so real quick down here in the upper right, this was all just like a big knitted thing, you know, kind of like you get with like Ultra Boost and things of that nature. This one I thought was going to be the same, and it is not. So down here around like the toe box, you have this weird plasticky material that's kind of rigid feeling on top. And it feels almost like what I see on a lot of trail shoes. So that's happening, right? And it, as you look at it, that kind of goes all throughout. The only part where it's really open and it doesn't have that weird stuff on it is right here in the middle sections, just behind where you have the Asics logos. Otherwise, upper, the upper piece is basically that, which isn't my ideal thing, you know what I mean? I'd rather it be like this, and I thought it was going to be like this, so I'm a little disappointed it is what it is, though. But otherwise, past that, another little detail, the laces, right, they look very much similar, but this time around they do have the little 3M bits in there, so that's always a nice touch because I do like the 3M stuff, right? And going back to that note there, the 3M, you also will have some on the side because this here ASICS logo is outlined in some kind of reflective 3M thing, so that's pretty cool. And other than that, I think everything else is pretty much the same. Actually, one minor adjustment. On the very back, where you have like this little, the drawings or the lines or whatever, this is all basically that flat material, that flat plasticky nonsense that I was talking about, mostly complaining about. Whereas on the standard 29, it's almost like a hard plastic overlay on here. So it actually feels like a heel cup of sorts. It just has a better look to it than your standard heel cup would. But otherwise, down there on the bottom, like I was saying, things are very much the same. So there's a quick little comparison for you. So moving on, I think we're just going to hit some personal thoughts and then go into the sizing. Personally, right, these right here were kind of a letdown. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. They just were. I thought that they were going to feel more like the standard Kayanos. They do not. They're not uncomfortable or anything. It's just that these were really nice and I was expecting to get that feeling out of these. I thought they would just have some 3M on there and that would be the only difference. Unfortunately, even when it comes to the 3M piece, that's a bit of a letdown too because, I don't know, I guess I just expected it to be a little better, a little more to it, you know, but kind of looks like just something that they just kind of phoned in, if you will, you know. Now, I'm not going to complain about these too much because they are still going to be like a decent shoe to have, you know. I, I could do like the colors for that reason, you know what I'm saying? But the overall experience that I was hoping to get 
like I got with these, just not quite there. So it does make me question if I would buy any of their other light show shoes because not that not like these are terrible. It's just that what I expected. I mean, I've I've gotten a better experience out of things where like the 3M wasn't even the selling point. And maybe it's just this particular model. I don't know. I haven't bought any of their other ones and now it's like the question is like should I buy any of their other ones? I honestly don't know. But I'm leaning towards not doing it for one because I have a lot of shoes and two because of how this one went over for me. But we're too close to it right now for me to say it for sure. I'll let some feelings sit for a bit, think about it, take the logical approach, and then we'll see what we see. So if you stick around and you see another light show review at some point, well, there you go. If you don't see one at some other point, well, there you go. Let's move on. Sizing wise, right? Sizing wise, I bought these in a nine and a half. The reason I do that is because shoes of this nature tend to fit true to size and these same thing, true to size, right? Now I will say if you have other running shoes, kind of stick with that. If you have other ASICs, you're, you're probably going to be in line with how you feel on those other ones because that's how it is for me. But the one thing that I want to add on here is like I was saying and complaining about earlier with this whole plastic nonsense that they have wrapped around a lot of the upper piece. It makes it for like a very weird feeling down in the toe region. Like when you have just standard knit, you can feel like you can move your toes a bit more freely. This, they don't have that. So it makes it overall less comfortable. The midsole is still gonna be doing what it's supposed to be doing, right? So I walked around in my other pair through Comic-Con for four days and a, did a couple runs in them. They're excellent, right? They're super high on my list of things to suggest to people if you're looking for a running shoe or just a straight casual wear shoe. The light show version, just because of the differences in the upper, they don't get all the same recommendations for that reason. Is it going to be bad? No, it's not gonna be bad, but save some money, maybe like I think there's a $10 difference, and just go ahead and get you the standard version and then you'll be fine. Otherwise though, I mean, for the most part, it's still kind of a breathable upper and all that stuff. So if you are gonna be wearing these around and it's kind of warm out, You'll still have some ventilation in there, which is always a good thing, right? And they do look kind of cool because I like the coloring and all that good stuff. It's just I'm coming at it from more of a functional sort of standpoint. And that's where they kind of just start to fall apart for me. But once again, I'm not going to sit here and say that they're awful shoes to wear because they are not. They're still a step above a lot of things. But in their own little ecosystem of other Kayanos, yeah, just not quite where I want them to be. Whatever. That's enough out of me though. I gotta go ahead and talk about these next. This is the Kayano 30, so if you're interested in these, there'll be a video about it at some point. So, for me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are, I'm gonna do what I just said I'm gonna do. So, later people.